So MS is a, is a chronic inflammatory disease that's characterized by a leaky blood-brain barrier, infiltration of peripheral immune cells, and aggravated glia in the central nervous system. The resulting inflammatory milieu leads to destruction of oligodendrocytes, causing demyelination of axons and physical symptoms of the disease, such as vision problems, loss of motor function, fatigue, and cognitive function. Flares in the disease can usually be reversed with new myelin laid down by newly recruited oligodendrocytes and function mostly restored. However, during the time it takes to turn off inflammation, recruit new oligodendrocyte progenitor cells, clear out the cellular and myelin debris, and finally remyelinate, the unprotected axons will be susceptible to degradation. And for the moment, that damage is irreversible. So accumulated damage leads to progression of disease with continuous loss of function to the patient. For the past 20 years, labs around the world have been elucidating innate neuroimmune reflexes that the central nervous system uses to detect damage, infection, and inflammation and coordinates a holistic response to shift frontline cellular and humoral, humoral responses from attack to debris clearance and from inflammation to immunoresolution. The vagus nerve is a major conduit for, the, for this control, being the primary interoceptive nerve throughout the viscera. Kevin Tracy and colleagues in New York and around the world have discovered that one can manipulate these innate immunoresolution pathways through electrical activation of the vagus nerve to turn down inflammation and models of chronic inflammation while maintaining immunosurveillance. These neuroimmune pathways work through hardwired routes within the nervous system and use specific neurotransmitters to, to communicate with a host of target immune cells that act directly on specific cell surface receptors. These interactions cause downstream intracellular cascades through mechanisms like JAK-STAT, NF-kappa-B, and the inflammasome to change the phenotype of immunocytes to reduce inflammation. Stimulating the vagus nerve can also activate the release of specialized pro-resolving mediators, such as resolvins, meracins, and protectins that independently coordinate the cellular phenotypic shift from pro-inflammatory to resolution. So to translate these findings into clinical use, um, Sepoit Medical has sponsored uh, studies in rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's disease that have shown that just minutes a day of stimulation of the vagus nerve can modulate inflammation and turn down uh, the effects of chronic inflammatory diseases in humans as well as in, in animals. The next step is to investigate how vagus nerve stimulation can modulate uh, the, the disease parameters in multiple sclerosis as well.